welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Hi, my name is Anna. So today's video, I'm going to be doing my embarrassing school story time. Um, I done a poll on Instagram earlier today. It was like in the group chat that I'm in. And basically what video we filmed today, which one was this, the embarrassing, one of the embarrassing school stories. And my other one was a room tour, updated room tour. I got 50-50, so people wanted to see this embarrassing school story first. Then go to the people that voted for room tour. So I will be on a room tour soon, but I want to go ahead and get this video out here. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload it today or tomorrow. I have no idea. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so today is Thursday. And it is 3 something, and I have to use this light because it's so cloudy outside and <sighs> the lighting is not working with me today. But I do have my hot chocolate right here, and I'm not going to spill the tea on anybody, but this is going to be one of my embarrassing school. I'm in school now, so I really don't have any, like, embarrassing. This is back when I was in public school, you know, when you're around other people your age, or you're a little bit older than them, and, um, da da da. So, uh, yeah, I have hot chocolate right here. It's not cold outside at all. I'm wearing, like, capris. It's, like, 8 something degrees outside, but, um, I'm wearing, wearing, I'm drinking hot chocolate because I wanted something sweet. And we didn't have like, like nothing sweet in the house except for hot chocolate. So I made some hot chocolate. And in this Reese's cup. If you're wondering where I got this from, this is actually one of my mom's cups, but she never drinks coffee, hot chocolate, or cappuccino that regularly. Um, regularly. Reg. <laughs> I can't speak today. But basically, I got like a full thing. Do you guys can get it at Walmart? I think they come around. Christmas time, you'll see something like these. They have like M and M cups. They have Hershey, Reese's. You know, so they have different kinds. So you can basically find them at your local Walmart if you have a Walmart around. You probably find it anywhere else. But just in case you want to know, Christmas time like a bundle thing for my mom and for Christmas about two years ago, I think. So um, yeah. All right. So I went back to my older videos last night to see if I told this story time or not because I really don't remember and I think I have so um I think I have told this story time um so I'm just going to go back because I went and watched the one I'm going to be talking about and I was very very stuttery and didn't know how to say words and I really didn't you know how to cut things out back then so um yeah alright so this story time as you come from the title is going to be the time I threw up on one of my friends is shoes. Not on purpose. So if you're like an old, old timey subscriber, you're about my first few couple of subscribers when I'm back when I started this channel. I done this video over a year ago, last year. So it's been over a year. And um so if you're one of my old timey subscribers you probably already heard this story time. Um if you I do have like a lot of new people watching me so I'm doing this for like my new people. So, uh, yeah. So, this is going to be the first. This is going to be. I'm sorry, my words again. Um. This is going to be my. The time I threw up on my friend's shoes. Okay. I was in. I have to say. Second grade at the time. Whew. Second grade at the time. I was. This was way before I met Yanni, my best friend, which I was living in another state at the time. So I don't remember this person. I don't think I had this person on social media or anything. Um, yeah. So one day, getting ready to go to school, my stomach started hurting. Like, not badly hurting, but it started feeling like kind of uncomfortable feeling. Like, you need to go to the bathroom, maybe. You can just go to the bathroom, it might feel better. This is like an uncomfortable feeling, so I really didn't worry about it. I had to tell my mom and my dad about it before I left the house. My mom took me to school, and my stomach kept hurting. And around snack time, which was not about an hour or two after we got after school, after the school time started, I drank a hot Hawaiian punch, like a Hawaiian fruit punch drink, juice thing, and. I drank a hot one of those and that made my stomach hurt worse. My hand, I remember telling my teacher like my stomach hurts. You know, I didn't feel like I was gonna be like, ugh, like sick. 
my stomach just hurt. You know, I might need to go to the restroom or something. You know, it just felt like, I don't remember it feeling like I need to throw up. You know, it basically, it just felt like I need to go to the bathroom. But she was like, no, we're just going to go to lunch. You're probably just hungry, even though we haven't been on eat snack. I don't think I really had much of a snack, so probably that was getting out of my system. That's what she was thinking. She was saying, you probably stum you probably your stomach's probably uncomfortable because you're hungry, so we're gonna be going to lunch in a few minutes. I was like, okay. My stomach kept on hurrying, kept on hurrying. It was time to go to lunch. And I was walking. I was right in front of the nurse's office and blah. <laughs> that oh, I remember that day. I had these, um, black, not black, I had on these, like, bob shoes, is that, is that what they call, like, the bob shoes, like, the velcro type shoe that you just slip your foot into, they're called bobs, I think, or something like that, um, I don't think they were Converse, but they kind of look like Converse, but they wasn't, and these are, like, my favorite shoes, I remember those shoes so much, I wish I still had them, <laughs> even though I threw up on them, and, they probably need to be washed several times. Um, but I remember wearing those. And the school that I went to allowed you to wear boots. As long as it wasn't open toe shoes. They could wear tennis shoes, you could wear boots, you could wear blue jeans and khaki. And, but you had to wear the Pacific t-shirt. Well, polo shirt was like red, white, and blue. That's what the... I think it still is there because I do... I have family there and they... I have a cousin and a few friends I remember that go to the same schools now, still. Um, red, white, and blue polo shirts. So basically, they were kind of like, they weren't very strict on the uniform. Um, back then they wasn't. Um, I'm not sure about now. Same way. But she was wearing boots and I was wearing my Bob Converse shoes. Well, I threw up. I said, I was right in front of the nurse's office, and it was bad. It was really bad. So, after I'd done it, the teacher said, walk me over to the nurses, and I said, we were right in front of it. We were like, probably about only a few feet away from it, but we were right in front of it. We had to walk in front of the um, nurse's office to go to the lunchroom because the lunchroom wasn't that far away so we wasn't that far from the lunchroom that was terrible um so i walked into the nurse's office and there was this other person there and i remember just sobbing my eyes out now when i was little i used to cry a lot especially when you get sick which you kind of whiny and whoopy and all that when you're sick I was the kind of person that I was just crying and I was saying my mom's probably at work right now and she had to get called because at the time we only my parents only had one vehicle to like drive back and forth so my mom was using the vehicle so my dad could come pick me up because you come pick me up except my mom so my mom only worked part-time at the school district that we went to she was she helps out she helped out with janitorial services so she's on call anytime um but on this particular day that morning i don't remember her telling me that she had to go to work so she probably got called in right after she dropped me off so i told the nurse my mom's phone number which they had computers then so this was like oh 2010 2011 maybe and um so I knew they they had computers about parents' number and stuff, which I think I told them my parents' number. I try to keep those are the two very important numbers. I try to keep in my head at least my mom's number. I always keep that in my head. Like if I get sick or something, and you know if it's like if the number ain't in the computer, let's just say, um, let's see. Let's just say one time my mom doesn't. My mom has my phone and her phone is like at a minute or whatever. I tell them my number because mainly my number ain't in the system because I'm not allowed to bring my phone. I have a phone. I didn't. I don't think I even had a phone. Basically, I had a a Wii. That's basically it. So when I when I got bored or something, I got on my 
mom and dad's like flip phone or something like that and playing games as they had it. So I didn't have like a phone then, which nowadays second graders and below have phones nowadays. But 2010, 2011, you barely seen a little child have a phone. Um, but anyway, like my mom got called. I we went home and I remember laying in my parents' bed. Uh, we lived with my grandma at the time. Um, she has passed away, by the way. Uh, I have something in my eye. I'm not crying, you guys. I have something in my eye. Um, she passed away, but we used to live with her back before we moved where we are now in the same town. Um, so we lived with her, and she was gone. This was on a Friday, I think. Because I remember every single Friday, she went with her best friend, which is my, we call her Aunt. I'm not going to say her name, but we call her Aunt F. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I don't think we were actually kin. I don't think. We might have been. But basically, that's, that was my grandma's best friend. And she was. The, my grandma didn't drive at all. So basically, it was either her or my mom and my dad take her somewhere. Because she don't drive. She never drove. Like She drove one time and it didn't work out too well. So she was like, I'm not doing this. She... She's going to have somebody take her for the rest of her life. So, I remember every single Friday they were going to the hair. What is it called? The hair beautician or the beautician's office. So, basically, we were, they're there like for a couple of hours. Like, coloring their hair, styling their hair and everything. And it lasts for a week. And they go back the next Friday. So, this was, I think this was a Friday. I, it had to be a Friday. So, I really don't know what I had. I, I might have had a stomach virus. That's what it sounded like. I, I don't remember, but I think that was... Okay. And uh, drinking the hot Hawaiian punch didn't help at all. Let me tell you that. If your stomach hurts, try not to drink. Now, coffee or like hot chocolate cappuccino or something, that'll work fine. They're, they're normal hot beverages. But like, don't drink hot juice. Don't drink a hot soda. Because sometimes that can make it worse. Um... So, for a long time, I thought I was allergic to Hawaiian Punch, which I am not. I'm not allergic to Hawaiian Punch, but I always thought Hawaiian Punch did not. But, it was years. Let me tell you, it was years before I even drank another Hawaiian Punch. And every once in a while I drink one, but I try to make sure it is not hot or anything. I didn't want the same thing to happen again, which... As far as though nothing like that has ever happened, I've never got sick at school after then, I don't think. No. I don't think I ever got sick at school behind after then. I had went home several times because of my, like, time in the month stomach hurting and I can't stand having it anymore. But, yeah. So, that's one of my embarrassing stories. And as I said, I've done this video before. I remember doing this video before. That video is still up. I will leave that down below. I will leave the first one down below. This is like a similar, it's like the similar thing, except where I might be all over the place in that video, or I might be all over the place in this video. I, I kind of think it's kind of both ways. All my videos are like very are all over the place and not very written out and stated. And So I'm sorry about that. I've been doing YouTube for, for like three to five years already, and I still state my words, right? <laughs> But yeah, so that is my embarrassing school story. I do have several others. I need to think of some because I need to think of some that I've never done a video on. Because as I said, this one, I already done a video on this one. But it was like my, one of my older videos. And I have like a bunch more subscribers now. So I've got a bunch more people watching me. So <laughs> yeah. But this is going to 14 minutes long. I'm going to have to, I'm going to see if I can shorten it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you have any similar stories like this. Um, if you want to see other story times, let me know. Just leave like a caption or something. If that's ha ever happened to me, I will try to do a video on it. Um, so yeah, and also leave a video request down below because your girl needs some help with ideas. So um, yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you're raving. Oh, I spilled hot chocolate on me. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Okay. And it's still quite full and I have not drank it. Whoops. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.